Have you got lots of HomeKit devices? And are you worried about losing those important HomeKit codes? Then continue to watch this video as I take HomePass through its paces in this review. Hi, welcome back. My name is John from HomeKit Authority. And if you're new around here, this is a channel dedicated to HomeKit news, reviews, and tutorials. So if you've not already subscribed, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button. Now, HomePass is an app that allows you to save your important HomeKit codes. And if you're like me and you've got a lot of HomeKit devices, keeping track of those codes can be really important, especially if you want to do a rebuild or your HomeKit uh, suddenly fails and you have to reconnect a load of devices. You may have to search around the loft or you may have to go around uh, various different places to find these. But if you've got it in one app, then that can be really useful. So the app itself is $2.99 and it will run on various OS devices running iOS 13. It's also got an Apple Watch companion app and it also can be shared with family members through family sharing on the App Store. So let's now look into the details of how this app works. So the app itself is very straightforward. When you first open the app, you're presented with a very simple interface. In the center, you find all your different HomeKit uh, devices, which in my case, I've already added a few, but if you were using this for the first time, this would be blank. To add a device, you simply press the Add button, and then you get the following options, add existing accessory or create new accessory. Now I found adding an existing accessory is the best and quickest way to add a device. It will access your HomeKit database and pull up all the devices that you know that are not already added to the app. Now, one thing to note, which I think is really good, is if you've got any hub devices, say it's Philips U, which has got multiple devices hanging off them, it will only show one device, which is the hub, which I think that's really good. It keeps everything organized and allows you to concentrate on the actual device that needs adding to OwnKit. Now, to add a device, you simply press on a particular accessory and all the information is pre-populated like name, the room it's in, category, and you can also add notes. Now, the one thing that's not added is the OwnKit code, which unfortunately cannot be pulled from the database, but you can either add it manually by typing in, or you can click on the camera button in the same way you would do in the Ohm app and scan the code. Now, the other way is to connect a new OwnKit device. Now, this is if you've got a accessory that is not already connected to HomeKit and you've got it for the first time, say from the shops where it's been delivered and you want to add it straight away into HomePass. This way is a lot slower than adding it through existing setup because you have to add all the information within the fields. Now selecting and viewing one of the accessories will show you all the bits information that is captured for that particular accessory. Uh, for instance, you have the name of the device, you have which room it's in, the code, the category, and also any notes that you've captured. You've also got Siri shortcuts. You've got one uh, to get the code by asking Siri, and you've also got one to copy the code. You also can delete as well. Now, if you edit the accessory, you can change the name if you choose to do so. And you also can, if you change the room, you can assign it to a different room. And now one of the things that worth pointing out, if you move the accessory to a different room within the HomeKit, it doesn't change within the app. You also can edit the code if you want to. You also can change the category and there's various different categories that you've got an option from. You also can add notes as well. So if you wanted to add notes or information, you could also do that there. Now the app has a bunch of settings which gives you further customization options. So clicking on the cog wheel, you get taken into the settings menu and you can turn on face ID and passcode. You also can turn iCloud sync on and off. So if you didn't want it to sync to various different devices, you could do that. You've also got an export option so you can export to PDF or CSV and you can put an automatic backup to PDF. You've also got the option to reset the database completely and you've also got the option to change the icons. OwnPass also features a Apple Watch companion app. Now this is really useful and one of the things that I really like about the app. 
if you've got the companion app and accessories connected within home pass simply opening up the app on the apple watch will present you with all your accessories now you can't add them or anything like that but the real unique feature here if you click on one of them it will show you the own kit code so this is really good because you don't have to memorize or write the own kit code down you can simply scan the app from your phone and connect your device so I think this is really good and it's really been thought out by the developer. Okay, so my review conclusion for this app. So yes, you could save your device codes within a spreadsheet or the notes app, but OwnPass is a lot more than a simple database. It's a solid app that's really been fought through by the developer and it's really easy to use. Using the add existence accessory feature is really good and really quick. You only have to scan the code in order to get it within the app. I also like the backup options that if you wanted to back these up or something happened to your phone, you can do that. I also like you've got Siri shortcuts to be able to call your HomeKit codes on demand. But the real killer feature for me is the ability to be able to call the codes up from your Apple Watch companion app. That is really good and adds a lot of value to this app. At the bottom line of this app, OwnPass costs less than a cup of coffee from your favorite coffee shop. And if you have lots of OwnKit devices like me, this could save you a lot of time if you had to reconnect all your OwnKit devices for whatever reason. But most importantly, it supports an independent developer that's developed a really good app that's solid and well thought through. Now you can pick up this app from the App Store for $2.99 and it's available for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've liked it. If you have, give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe as it's greatly appreciated. There's also loads of more Unkit content on this channel, so don't forget to check it out. And if you have got a comment or a question, then leave it in the comment section below. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.